Everyone has a driver's license picture that they probably hate. <laughs> You're right on that. For other people, not me. I have a handsome license photo. But one Enid woman is now carrying a driver's license picture in which she has a spaghetti what? strainer. What? Spaghetti what? strainer, yep, spaghetti <laughs> strainer on her head. For me, the colander represents freedom, our freedom of religion. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Rylander and this is What the Fark. Today we head to Oklahoma, where Shauna Hammond decided to fight for religious freedom the old-fashioned way. At a DMV, wearing a spaghetti strainer on her head. Yeah, it doesn't cover your face. I mean, you can still see my face. We have to take off our glasses, so, you know, I took off my glasses. Hold up, so you're saying she can't wear the glasses that she wears all the time in the photo that is the legal representation of how she looks all the time? But she can wear a spaghetti strainer on her head? What type of strange mythology-based organizations would allow for above-the-law legal exemptions like this? And I asked if I could wear my religious headwear, and he said yes. Ah, yes. Religion and their coveted religious exemptions. Those weird gray areas of legality that let any old David Koresh with a Hobby Lobby franchise and a bottle of kerosene not pay federal taxes or provide health care services they just don't like. Shauna is atheist. She believes no one should be forced into certain beliefs. Atheist? She said she's one of us. She asked me what religion I was. I told her I was a pastafarian. Yeah, she's not an atheist news lady. She's a pastafarian. Um, so what's a pastafarian? What's a pastafarian, you ask? We wondered too. A man named Bobby Henderson wrote an open letter to the Kansas State Board of Education. It was actually about teaching creationism in school. And he came up with the flying spaghetti monster, saying it had just as much merit. Oh, I get it. The Pastafarian movement is a pseudo-religion used to intelligently demonstrate the ludicrosity of organized religion in general, all while peacefully protesting the legal loopholes under which they operate and maintaining the same general theological tenets of the major world religions they aim to satirize. Psh, duh. We like to make spaghetti. So is Shauna the first Pastafarian to exercise these legally protected religious rights, or is this like a thing? Pastafarianism is practiced the world over, and other followers have worn colanders in their driver's license photos. This town councillor was sworn in wearing one on his head. People have challenged and won the right to wear the uh, colander on their head in official photographs because they felt that atheists should have the same rights as uh, people who practice religion. Okay, that makes sense. It's the golden rule. And with this kind of legal precedent, what kind of place wouldn't have the perspective of tolerance to allow such a thing? Now, we did speak with state officials about this issue. They didn't want to go on camera, but they say they will do a thorough review of the picture to make sure it is following the rules. They also told me that they may look at changing the rules. Oklahoma, where religious agendas and laws are a religion. Just as long as that religion is Anglo-Saxon Christianity. And if it's not, well, tough titties. We're just going to change the laws. It's hard, you know, living as a non-religious person here in Oklahoma. Once again, I'm Mike Rinder. Thanks for watching. You can wear your religious headgear. Well, you watch all our episodes at WTFark.com. And if you like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, as our way of saying thanks, we'll send you the strainer to remind us all that he boiled for our sins. And of course, you can always find this and other farked up stories over at Fark.com. Oh, and the next time you're trying to decide which God is your one true God, and the thought of evolutionary biology backed by centuries of scientific research and data is just a little too kooky for your liking. Always remember. The earth was created by the flying spaghetti monster. I guess he just touched me with his noodly appendage.